Good morning guys and welcome back. I'm Vlad Sarsara, your mortgage broker and your loan officer. Well, this morning I came down to do a little meditation and before I did this meditation, I wanted to drop this video. And this video is about DTI. What is DTI? Debt to income ratio. Really simple. Uh, I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. Let's say you're making $10,000 a month and that's your income and then you've got some liabilities like you've got a mortgage two thousand dollars and then you've got credit card and monthly minimum payments all together maybe another thousand dollars with some personal loans so that's three thousand dollars in liabilities so your your debt is three thousand dollars and your income is ten thousand dollars in mathematics you take three thousand dollars divided by ten thousand dollars and you get 30%. So that would be your DTI ratio, debt to income ratio, that would equal to 30%. Now, let's say you went out there and got an expensive car, $50,000 car, maybe not that expensive, but $50,000 car, that's about a $1,000 payment per month. You just added another $1,000 payment per month to already existing $3,000. Now you got $4,000 with a car payment together and you're still making $10,000. So you take $4,000 divided by $10,000 and you get 40% of 0.4, which is a 40% for simplicity for DTI ratio because the ratio is always measured in percentages. So this DTI ratio affects your buying power uh, and it, I recommend keeping your DTI ratio as low as possible. Generally it's somewhere between 30 and 40 percent interval to keep it between and um, if you can keep it lower even better that means you can afford a more expensive house, you can get a bigger loan. If your DTI ratio goes over 50 percent uh, it's going to be really difficult to find a conventional and maybe even not conventional lender, non-QM lender to, uh, to uh, get you a loan. But uh, there may be some other creative and hard money lenders that can still do it. And so the higher your DTI ratio, the less buying power you have, the less of a loan you're going to get. So keep your DTI ratio low, in other words, keep your liabilities low, try not to overspend, and um, you should be fine. Alright guys, I'm going to go back to my meditation and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, text me, or email me. The information is below the video. You can also go to our website alianzainc.net for more information. You guys have a blessed day prosper gracefully and I will see you later.